Hi, I'm Matt Linko, and what you're looking at in front of me here is our Dana Steer Axle Demonstrator. The purpose of this demonstrator is really to show folks how you take a kingpin out of a steer knuckle assembly. Now, part of this demonstrator obviously includes a knuckle, a steer beam, but we also have our different bushings and kingpin kits in the drawers here. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So here we have the drawers that lay out everything that's included in the kingpin kit. Now, this is only one side of the steer axle. So within a kingpin kit, you're actually going to get double what you see here. Now, on the right-hand side, this is actually talking about the different grades of bushing that we have, a DX10, a DX, and a bimetallic bronze. However, this drawer is focusing on the DX10 kit. And all of these are gonna be the same other than the bushing material that's included in the kit. So let's start in the corner. We have our draw keys, our washer and nut, our king pin bushings. Then we have shims. We have our knuckle caps. We have our patented foam inserts, our thrust bearing, our bushing seals, and then our kingpin. And this is all available at spicerparts.com. So now that we've looked at the drawers and our kingpin kits, let's go ahead and take this apart. And this steer knuckle assembly, right off the bat, has a knuckle cap. We have an upper and a lower. And in that knuckle cap, we have a zerk fitting. These Zerk fittings need to be lubricated independently, meaning that you can't just lube a top one and hope that it gets to the bottom. Not gonna happen. You need to make sure you're servicing the upper knuckle and the lower half of the knuckle as well. So let's take these caps off. And what you'll notice right off the bat, underneath of this knuckle cap, is a foam insert. This is patented by Dana, and this is included in every Kingpin kit. We'll do the same to the bottom. We'll remove the bottom knuckle cap. And you'll see that there's a foam insert in the bottom as well. What holds this kingpin in place are what we call draw keys. Those draw keys allow us to retain that kingpin so that we're not getting any movement inside of the beam. Now what's gonna happen in, in real life is this is gonna be very difficult to get out. You're probably gonna need a press, you're probably gonna need a sledgehammer of some kind, uh, but in a simulated environment, right, we want this to be as easy as possible to get out. So we have uh, modified this assembly so that you can kind of push it out. And it has slacked a little bit on me. There we go. Now, you're never gonna get a kingpin out in real life that easily. Uh, however, this is what a kingpin looks like. This is the piece of steel that is holding the beam and the knuckle together. Now, let's zoom in a little bit on the top of this steer knuckle. And you can see inside, we have a bushing material. This is our DX10 bushing. This material is meant to last a very long time. And typically, a truck is only gonna have to have this serviced once or twice in its life. And if we had to press this bushing out or remove the bushing and put a new bushing in, the Spicer bushings are a no ream bushing, meaning that you don't have to worry about tolerances. Once you install that bushing, you're set to go. And then it's reverse procedure. We'll take the kingpin, we'll put it back into the steer knuckle and get this truck back on the road as quick as possible. We have a full offering of kingpin bushings and kingpin kits. Check out all of these parts and more at SpicerParts.com.